Good morning, this is Mission Control Houston. Welcome and thank you for joining us for today's edition of Space Station Live this Tuesday, April 16th. Aboard the International Space Station is Commander of the Complex, Canadian Space Agency astronaut Chris Hadfield, Flight Engineers Russian cosmonaut Roman Romanenko, NASA astronauts Tom Marshburn and Chris Cassidy, and cosmonauts Pavel Vinogradov and Alexander Misurkin. Commander Hadfield and Flight Engineer Marshburn both spent some time with another round after yesterday's take of data collecting and recording that involves a uh, water and urine sample collecting and pH testing, as well as uh, logging dietary consumption for two separate human body studies. These studies are known as Pro-K and Energy. Pro-K uh, seeks a dietary countermeasure for bone loss, while Energy evaluates energy balance of a long-duration spaceflight crew member. Hadfield and uh, flight engineer Chris Cassidy work together to uh, perform regular maintenance to the environmental life support system by removing and replacing a recycle tank. Hadfield and Cassidy also later today will conduct their individual periodic fitness evaluations. Flight engineer Marshburn had uh, spent much of his morning and will continue working throughout the day with uh, three bowling ball free-flying satellites known as spheres as part of ongoing research in microgravity. The spheres are used to test techniques that could lead to advancements in automated dockings, satellite servicing, spacecraft assembly, and emergency repairs. Flight engineer Chris Cassidy had set up the uh, combustion integrated rack in the microgravity science glove box for science operations. Cassidy then uh, worked with his hands inside the microgravity science glove box working with the onboard research known as BAS, burning and suppression of solids, that studies the characteristics of a wide variety of fuel samples and microgravity. On the uh, Russian side of the house, Vinogradov and Romanenko continue their preparations today for their spacewalk on Friday outside the pier's docking compartment airlock to install and retrieve several experiments and to replace a fully retro reflector on the aft end of Zvezda. That is part of a uh, suite of navigational aids to be used by the European Space Agency's Albert Einstein, the uh, Automated Transfer Vehicle 4, for its automated docking to the station later in June. Vinogradov and Romanenko donned their uh, Russian Orlan spacesuits this morning to conduct translation exercises in the Pure's docking compartment airlock, testing the crew's ability to move around in preparation for Friday's spacewalk. Tomorrow, they will uh, don the suits again for a full dress rehearsal, of the spacewalk procedures while still inside the piers.